Back over the Grand National fences again now then for the Grand Sefton. A two mile five furlong 0 to 140 handicap. And at the top we've got Oceans of Lecker for Darren Thompson. I've just noticed only one Ocean of Lecker. Need a tonic, Craig Beckwith. Then Witch King, Joshua Sutherland, Drum Largan, Marty Leedham, Dine of the Day, Padre Hogan, Star of Belmore, and October Bay for Grand Clitterbuck, Presk Flay, David Robertson, Pizza Hut, Matt Cooper, Everybody's Fall, Padre Hogan, and Roller Six for Craig Beckwith. Calling it away. Two miles and five furlongs. Need trip for this one. Over the first they go. We need the Witch King and Ocean of Lecker disputing the lead. The grey Pizza Hut is also close up as they come to the chair, which is a big test early on. And all oh, safely over it. With Pizza Hut probably just in the lead now on this near side, although I'm pretty sure it won't be in the lead. After they take the turn, he led over the water, but now as they start to angle in the other direction, you can see that the horses on the outside do lose quite a little bit of ground. And the Witch King is back in front. From Peter at second, Ocean of Lecker is third. Then Need a Tonic and October Bay, star of Belmore after that one. Everybody's full, the back marker. Heading now towards the fence that is the first in the Grand National. Long away, really. The Grand National. This is week six. Grand National's in about week 11. Something like that. Only five racing weeks away. As they get over that mistake was made by the Witch King. Of course, we've got two weeks off after this week. On Christmas and New Year as they get to the fifth. And we'll safely over the fifth with the Great Pizza Hut now clearing the lead from Ocean of Lecker in second. And then the Witch King is third. Roller six has moved through into fourth. As they get over that big ditch, which they're all safely over the greys top and tail in the field then, as Presk Flay just drops to the back. Well, Pizza Hut is not hanging about in the lead, gets over the seventh. Oh, and there's a fall there, Presk Flay's gone, so the second grey has departed the race. The other grey, Pizza Hut, is still clear getting into the eighth. Uh, all safely over that one. Drum Largan just struggling towards the back. Seems to have taken to the Grand National Fences that one. Well, it's Pizza Hut who's in the lead, coming out of Beaches Brook. And over it they all go, all safely over it. With Pizza Hut in the lead, Oceans of Lecker in second. And then October Bay in third as they come down to Fornhaven. All safely over that one as well. With Drum Largan continuing to be the back marker. And it's Pizza Hut who's going to lead them into the canal turn. From Ocean of Lecker in second, Dine of the Day is third. And then October Bay, everybody's full roller six. He's after that one. As they all get over that one, with the exception of Dine of the Day, who's gone out of the canal turn. So Dine of the Day, one of Padraig's two out. As they go into Valentine's Brook, and over that one they go. And they're all safely over Valentine's then, with Pizza Hut continuing to lead. Ocean of Lecker second, the Witch King third. Then Roller Six is fourth, as they come to another plain one. And there's a bit of a gap to Need a Tonic. And October Bay, another gap to Drum Lager, and everybody's full. Star of Belmore has dropped off the back as they take another ditch. And now the Pizza Hut has been overtaken by the Witch King. So the Witch King on the outside, Pizza Hut on the far side as they come down a fence 15. That's the third from home. And suddenly it's Pizza Hut who's gone on again. Pizza Hut's gone three or four clear as they start to come down towards the home turn. And they've got just two more fences to take then now and Pizza Hut is in front from the Witch King in second. Ocean of Lecker is third. Then come Roller Tonic and sorry, Roller Six and Need a Tonic. Then after that one is Everybody's Full October Bay's next. Drum Largan is the back of the main pack. The star of Belmore is somewhere but I don't know where. I can't see him. But it's Pizza Hut who's in the lead by about three lengths to the Witch King in second. Ocean of Lecker is in third. Then comes October Bay. Everybody's Full next. This is the second last and Pizza Hut skips over it 
and gets away from it well from the Witch King. An ocean of liquor are closing. Then everybody's fool is trying to run on. So to his drum lark and they come down towards the final fence. And now Peter starts to tread water over the final fence. They go and Ocean of Lecker lands in the lead. Ocean of Lecker from Peter Hood in second. The Witch King is in third. Then Nita Tonic. Everybody's full drum lark and he's trying to run on. But it's the Ocean of Lecker who's well clear. Coming down towards the elbow. It's Ocean of Lecker who's four or five clear of the Witch King. Everybody's full drum lark and he's trying to run on. But is this going to be another one for Darren Thompson? Six, seven, eight length winner up towards the line. Ocean of Lecker, the top weight takes it. Close for second drum lark and the Witch King. And everybody's full and roll of six. October Bay and all the way back to Star of Belmore. And that's a top weight winning by six or seven lengths. Then that one must have must be some sort of horse, wasn't it? Ocean of Lecker takes it for Darren Thompson, a six length winner from top weight. John Largan second for Martin Lee and the Witch King for Joshua Sutherland was third. Nita Tonic for Craig Beckwith was fourth. And everybody's full for Patrick Hogan was fifth. That winner's got to go up to at least 140, I think, with a performance like that. Anyway, Ocean of Lecker takes it for Darren Thompson.